Now let's answer the practice exercises for doubling and having decimal numbers. Let's begin with your student book. Number one, use the place value charts to have and double these decimal numbers. So you can use any of the methods which I have taught you in the previous lesson. For letter A, the answer is already given. Letter B, you have to double 2.6. Letter C, you have to get the half of 2.82. And for letter D, you need to double 0 0.78. Now for number two, you have to use your knowledge of doubling and having whole numbers. So for letter A, what is the double of 5.6? 5.6 is 10 times smaller than 56. So first, let's double 56, okay? Using the uh, partitioning method. Let's partition 56 or let's get the value of each digit in 56. So the value of 6 is 6. The value of 5 is 50. Now let's double each number. So the double of 6 is 12 and the double of 50 is 100. Now let's add the number together. So we have 112. So double 56 is 112 and 10 times smaller, 112 is 11.2. Okay, so kindly do the same for letter B, letter C, and letter D. Please be careful. For letter B, it should be the half. For letter C, it should be double. And for letter D, it should be the half. Let's go to let's practice. Use your knowledge of doubling and having whole numbers to solve these questions. So what is the double of 145? Again, we're going to use the um, partitioning method here. So 145, let's get the value of each digit. The value of 5 is 5, the value of 4 is 40, and the value of 1 is 100. Okay, now, double 5 is 10, double 40 is 80, and double 100 is 200. Now, let's add these three numbers together. So, 0 plus 0 plus 0, we have 0. 1 plus 8 is 9, and bring down 2. So we have 290. Okay. Now for letter B, you have to get the double of 1.45, which is 10 times smaller than 145. So we just have to get the 10 times equivalent, 10 times smaller equivalent of 290, which is 2.5. 9, 0, or 2 and 90 hundreds. For letter C, you need to get the half. For letter E, um, you need to get the half as well. Letter G, you need to get the half. Letter I, you need to get the double. And letter K, you need to get the double. So we, you will see on the opposite side that you have to get the half or double of the decimal equivalence of these numbers. So for number two, it's the same. You have to use your knowledge of doubling and having whole numbers to solve these questions. So let's answer your workbook. We have to complete the following sentences. So double 75, so we can use any of the methods. Um, number one, we can add the number by itself. Number two, we can multiply the number by two. And the third one is to use your knowledge of getting the double of whole numbers. So, what is a double of 75? So, 75 plus 75, using the first method, we have 10 carry 1, so we have 50. So, double 75 is 150. Now, you will see that there is no decimal number, and in the answer, there is no decimal number here as well. So, what is a double of 7.5? Let's just use the same number. So, let's write 150. There is one decimal place here, okay? So let's just put the decimal point also after 5, okay? So double 0 0.75 or 0 0.75. So let's again use 150. So you will notice that there are two decimal places here. So let's count two decimal places. We have 1, 2. So the decimal point should be after 
1. For letter B, we need to get the half of 234. So let's partition 234. Let's get the value of each digit. The value of 4 is 4. The value of 3 is 30. And the value of 2 is 200. And let's get the half of each digit. The half of 4 is, uh, I mean, the half of 4 is 2. The half of 30 is 15. While the half of 200 is 100. Okay, now let's add the numbers together. 2 plus 5 plus 0 is 7. 1 plus 0 is 1. And bring down 1. So our answer is 117. Okay. Since it's whole number, so we don't need to put any decimal point. Okay. Now for the second statement, half of 23.4. So let's just write the same answer, 117. Okay, so now you will see that there is one decimal place here. So put also one decimal place here. So let's put the decimal point after one. So on the next statement, we have 2.34. There are two decimal places. Okay, so let's write again 117. And let's put the decimal point after one or let's have two decimal places you just need to follow the pattern for letter c up to letter h okay just read the statements carefully if it is to double or to get the half for number two you have to have and double the numbers using any of the methods which i have taught you 